In this case, we had an 11 year old male neutered cockapoo. He had a history of a sudden development of ascites, which was revealed to be a high protein transudate. In this uh, recording, we can see that um, we have the cranial part of the abdomen. So we've got liver over here and we can see an enormous amount of free fluid um, in, in this abdomen. We've got some gastrointestinal tract here and all this anechoic area is free fluid. Here we have the splenorenal view, so we have the left kidney here, and we can also see uh, ascites, this anechoic free fluid um, around the tissue here. In the cystocolic view, here we have the bladder, um, nice and intact, um, but hugely surrounded by large quantities of free fluid. And on the splenointestinal view, we can see again, large quantities of free fluid within this abdomen. Free fluid within the abdomen can make it harder to find landmarks um, with ultrasound in the abdomen, and it, uh, it can displace um, organs within the abdomen, and it can also uh, make it difficult to apply the pressure that we need to see individual organs in the abdomen. Here we have the left kidney, and we can see the renal artery leaving here down to the aorta and then this structure here is the left adrenal which is enormously enlarged we can see compared to the size of the kidney um, the adrenal gland here is is very very large here's the measurement of the left adrenal so we're measuring across the caudal pole Again, we've got the left kidney above, um, which just shows relatively how large this left adrenal is. Um, normally in a do small dog this size, I'd expect the left adrenal to be about half a centimetre or so. But this left adrenal was measuring at nearly three centimetres across. So very, very large left adrenal. Again, the left adrenal seen here with the kidney popping into view right there. So in this case, we found bilaterally massively enlarged adrenal glands. They were homogenous, but had a deformed shape to them. The right adrenal appeared to be invading the caudal vena cava. And this has been known to cause bud charis syndrome, which causes a high protein transudate ascites because the blood flow from the abdomen is blocked. And this was what was occurring in this case. Due to the dog appearing well, other than the ascites, it was assumed that the tumour was non-functional, but the size made malignancy more likely. Phaochromocytoma was high on the differential diagnosis list in this case, but metastases from primary tumour such as a lung carcinoma was also a possibility. It was deemed that surgery to remove the right adrenal to stop the blockage of the caudal vena cava was unlikely to be successful and the prognosis was poor in this case, so the owners opted to euthanase.